Watching this video, we are about to learn what to do and what not to do while in and or around other cars. So buckle up and let's get it on. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Please obey warning signals at railroad crossings, including flashing lights, bells, and barrier arms. Never attempt to pass a train when these signals are active. He could see well the truck was not stopping. If only he had put his foot on the brake at the same time he put his hand on the horn. Uh, where did the silver car appear from? Glad no one was hurt. One of the primary reasons for maintaining a safe distance is to reduce the risk of rear-end collisions. Be careful, man. Oops, let's always drive slowly and maintain a safe distance on snowy roads, everyone. This is what happens when you break in a turn. Glad he's okay. Oops, he lost his balance and ran into his friend in front of him. I was right splitting! Why were you doing that? In Taiwan, a bunch of glass insulation papers that were illegally affixed in black were no longer punished and forced to be removed. That is why the car was rear-ended. Take care of yourself and learn from the mistakes of others. Remember, obey traffic rules. That is scary. Glad they are fine. It looks like he is wrong. No flashing lights, like no turn signal. Hey man, traffic signals are a fundamental part of the traffic control system. Running a red light is subject to legal consequences, including fines, points on your driving record. This driver is being chased by the police. That's why he didn't slow down. Everyone is okay. At least there were no collisions. Now I'd rather drive slowly for a few minutes than quickly for a few seconds. If there is a risk of structural damage to the bridge, call emergency services immediately, report the location, and provide details about the incident. And this is a similar case. Thankfully, they are okay. The suspect's vehicle accelerated to speeds of 106 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone. In the end, police performed the pit maneuver. The impact caused the vehicle to rotate clockwise and roll backwards into the ditch on the right shoulder. Hey man, regularly checking the rear view mirror allows you to monitor the overall flow of traffic behind you. Nah, he's not permitted to turn there, as this is the solid line.
According to preliminary reasons, it occurred due to speed inconsistency with road conditions and failure to maintain distance. Luckily, they are alive. Whoops, at least nobody was injured. Oh, the road is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. This is becoming way too common. Do not imitate this. Really? And he's still going to cut people off like that? This is Grand Rapids, Michigan. Looks like a mini fire extinguisher. Probably fall off the truck ahead. Oh my, as I know traffic is generally organized with slower moving traffic in the right lanes and faster moving traffic in the left lanes. Avoid using cruise control in the rain. It's essential to have full control over acceleration and braking. Thankfully, there was no car oncoming. No, oh, man, stay in your lane. Oops, it's probably just too hot. Be aware and cautious of neighboring cars when in the blind spot. Remember folks, tracks are for trains, not parking spaces. And this is the same situation. Glad no one was hurt. Classic recipe for collision. Hope everyone involved learned the lesson. Glad no one was hurt. No, looks like there might have been a truck with a flatbed trailer of some kind in front of the silver SUV. I assume it came from that. Oh wow, this dash cam caught a three vehicle collision within 24 hours of installation. Oh my, when steering a tractor through the bends, turn wider to give yourself a little more room. Oh dear, I think big rigs should have cameras on the side and at the rear so we can see what started the whole thing. An unpredictability out there. Glad no one was hurt. Justice is often late, but this time it was not absent. Whoops, it's like someone took a wrong turn into Chaos Central. Well, ain't that the classic show off gone wrong move? Drift responsibly, folks. No, is this the quality of the American today? Hmm, this is why there are really many taxis that are disliked wherever they go. He 
you think the truck's at fault? The car was already there. The truck had enough time to stop. Well, Taiwan's traffic is nothing you can't imagine. Steer tire blowouts are no joke. Glad he made it out alright. Oops, I bet he didn't see the sign that said, the lane closed 5 miles ahead. Well, when the invoice is coming and you live on your own. Remember folks, by fostering a culture of responsible driving, you contribute to safer roads for everyone. The pursuit reached its climax when the officer employed a pit maneuver. Finally, a coordinated effort by the police successfully halted the suspect's escape. Pull over if you're feeling drowsiness. It's better to arrive late than never. The four-wheeler shouldn't have proceeded into the intersection until it was clear the rig was stopped. Poor judgment on his part as well. Could have cost him his life. I don't think he was going to be able to move it by himself and probably also not fix the situation. Hope he called for help. I guess the blue car has the right of way, but just be a little more patient, mate. A sleepy driver collided with semi-truck. Most people underestimate fatigue or tiredness. Oops, the truck driver clearly didn't check his blind spot. Glad there were no collisions. No, this occurred on a street in Russia. Remember, the streets are for cruising, not for colliding. And this is the same situation. A Penske rental truck got wedged under the 11 foot 8 bridge. It took an hour to get it out, probably by letting the air out of the tires. The truck signal was to the left. Why did he go to the right? The blue car suddenly pulled out of the road right at the intersection, leading the white car to sideswipe it. But wait, the SUV chose a dramatic exit, fleeing the scene as if taking its cue from a collide and flee script. Both are to blame in this mess. I mean, seriously, how do you manage to tag a pole when it's just you and the open road? He was going too fast and had to ditch. Whoops, a rogue license plate on the highway. Glad it has just some long scuffs, that buffed out nicely. Did you mistake the highway for a bowling lane? This is a typical situation where you only look in the rearview mirror without turning your head to look. I never understood why people pull that crap. So many truck drivers have cameras now. Black car goes straight from the turn only lane, then lies to the cops, saying this truck drove them into it. Thankfully, dash cam saves the day.
The truck driver was with two colleagues inside the vehicle when he was approached by two armed criminals, so he dragged the criminal's car for more than a kilometer. After being dragged, suspects managed to escape. That was a train with gas, but a lucky chance there was no fire. Never attempt to outrun an approaching train. Trains move faster than they appear. Bravo! This defensive driving level is too high. He is still looking in the rearview mirror. If possible, let's try to flash lights as early as possible. It reminds vehicles behind to slow down. Fortunately, there were no consequences other than a broken windshield. Notify your insurance provider about the incident and provide them with the necessary details. They can guide you on the next steps for filing a claim. Impatient, then inconveniences, and delays everyone anyway. A tale as old as time. Don't cut corners when making a right turn. Stay within your lane and complete the turn smoothly. This car cuts over at the last minute for exit, tailgates, honks for not blowing through a red, then rams the rear of the truck. This is what people do when they're in a rush on the road. They're looking for these shortcuts and not paying attention to priorities. The driver swerved off Attention Avenue, colliding with the unexpected on the intersection of a district drive. <laughs> Set your GPS or navigation system before you start driving. I usually do it. No! Avoid tailgating aggressively or engaging in tailgating wars. If someone is tailgating you, resist the urge to retaliate and maintain your own safe following distance. Can't miss that exit no matter what, right? I see this multiple times a day in California. A little love tap to start the morning but it's too early for this. Why did he even want to change lanes there? Both lanes are for going straight. What was the point of the changing lanes there? In the rare event of a stalled vehicle on the tracks, follow emergency procedures followed by railroad authorities, such as abandoning the vehicle and moving to a safe distance. Oh dear, the truck driver exceeded the speed limit in Kamaz and failed to balance the vehicle in the turn. Respect to those who helped, glad no car oncoming. Oh dear, the van driver probably fell asleep at the wheel and the driver of the van who drove into the rear was rushing so fast. Coffee or energy drinks can provide a short-term alertness boost. Cops were called because the UTE driver did a runner on foot, and he should consider taking defensive driving courses to enhance his awareness and skills. It is good that nobody was inside the parked car. The concrete mixer runs away, topples over, and goes onto a car and a wall. Definitely his front tires lose traction in the corner. Everyone can use the rear brake for sliding. Don't ever use the front in corners, it will save your life. Luckily, no passer buyers were involved. I hope he drives more defensively. Some drivers just have no common sense when approaching a clear way. Two lanes had stopped and he threw at speed. Bro, respect stop signs, traffic lights, and other road signs. Who's at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment below.
And this is the same case. Defensive driving, friend. You're not at fault, but, but you both could have avoided that easily. Never go through an intersection that congested that fast. Obey posted speed limits in residential areas. These limits are set to ensure the safety of residents. At least that little beep gave the tree a chance to get out of the way. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.